words are so hard when you can't speak. Hey everyone, my name is Jillian and welcome to Frizz Biscuit. Apologies if I'm less exuberant and enthusiastic in this video because I have a really bad cold and I'm losing my voice. At least I hope it's just a cold, I guess the doctor will tell me that tomorrow and hopefully I don't have a throat infection because I have shit to do. Anyway, I was feeling really sick this morning and decided to put makeup on to make myself feel slightly more put together and slightly more able to combat all the things on my to-do list that I still have to do despite being sick because why don't to-do lists just like go on hold when you're sick and that process of putting on makeup to make myself feel better actually reminded me of a video that Tessa Violet posted the other day Tessa's video was about men saying I think you're beautiful without makeup and there's a link to that down in the description if you want to check that out I definitely recommend it because it's great she was basically talking about how she feels when people say that and the kind of insecurity about being too done up or too feminine looking so I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. I'll start by telling you a little bit about my relationship with makeup. I personally love it. I love doing big dramatic eyeshadow looks, I like doing more natural looks, I like doing smoky eyes, I like metallic purple lipstick is amazing. I also think playing with makeup is a really great way of like experimenting with different identities and experimenting with self-image and is a really good way of building body confidence. So when someone says, oh you look better without makeup, it kind of makes me instantly hate that person a little bit. It's kind of implied that I don't think that I look good without makeup, which really bugs me. Sometimes I wear makeup, sometimes I don't wear makeup. I don't think that I look better or worse with or without makeup, I just look different. And I like the way that I look both ways. People have been wearing makeup for uh, probably since the beginning of time, there's been some form of makeup. There's still this weird stigma about it. She just use makeup to cover up all your flaws and oh this is why i don't trust girls makeup's such a lie first of all it's not just girls who wear makeup so get over yourself as a 21st century but the whole implication that makeup is a lie or a mask or something that you use to trick people into thinking that you're someone that you're not that's that's messed up man that's messed up it's not fake to like the way that you look with makeup on it's not anti-feminist to like wearing makeup you're just someone who is wearing makeup most of the time when someone says oh you look better without makeup what they're saying is i don't like the way that you look with makeup which is basically them saying i don't like the way that you look right now first of all rude if i've put effort into putting on makeup you don't have to compliment my makeup I, I don't I couldn't care less of what you think of my makeup but if you're trying to compliment me by insulting the way that I currently look in favor of the way that I normally look um it's not really much of a compliment Tessa mentioned in her video that hey if you know she was trying to impress a boyfriend or something like that and she was putting on makeup to try and make herself look better and it was just so much energy and effort and she was just doing it to make herself look better in his eyes and he was like hey just so you know, I think you look great without makeup. That's a completely different situation. But if someone just offers up this compliment saying you look better when you don't look like you look right now, it's like, okay, thanks for your opinion that I didn't ask for. I don't know what it's like for other people, but I never wear makeup for anyone else. I wear it for me. If I want to wear makeup, I wear it. If I don't want to wear makeup, I don't. I will wear makeup depending on what I want to do that particular day. It's never got anything to do with what other people expect of me or what I think other people will expect of me. I know I've definitely experienced some judgment for wearing makeup. And most of it hasn't come from guys though. Most of it's come from other women or older family members and I've often been criticized for being too gothic or having too much of a pancake face and a whole bunch of things along that same train of thought. I think it's one of those things where people are shaming other people for doing things that are traditionally feminine. I know when I was younger and less wise than I am now, I had this kind of aversion to traditionally feminine things. I wouldn't wear dresses, I didn't really wear much makeup when I was younger, I didn't like pink. It was always a kind of nerdy intellectual type. Of course, liking pink and being intelligent are not mutually exclusive things, as 12-year-old Jillian would soon learn. But it's the whole she wears short shorts, I wear t-shirts, therefore I am superior to her kind of mentality. And I mean, I'm really lucky. I've always had great friends and people who've been really supportive of me. I have the most body confidence that I've ever had. I'm confident in who I am and I don't feel like I need to wear makeup or dress a certain way or wear my hair a certain way in order to be valid and not construed as fake. But I think that weird stigma against wearing makeup because you don't want to be one of those girls 
is still very present and I think some of that is what comes out when people say you look better without makeup. And sometimes people say that with the best of intentions and they're not trying to be insulting in any way, but most of the time it still comes across quite insulting and like a backhanded compliment. And I think it's a similar thing when guys or non-gender conforming people wear makeup as well. And I don't have any personal experience with that, I don't want to put words in other people's mouths, but I think it's like still a way of shaming femininity and trying to present two distinct binary gender identities and when someone doesn't fit into that, they kind of get judged for it. This has been a very long and rambly video, but in summary, I like how I look with makeup, I like how I look without makeup. If you want to wear makeup, that's cool. If you don't want to wear makeup, that's also cool. It doesn't matter what your gender is, makeup is gender neutral and makeup is for everyone. Anyone who wants to wear makeup should be allowed to wear makeup and shouldn't feel judged for it. Also, be nice to people. If you don't have something nice to say or if you can only compliment someone in a backhanded way, maybe just move on. Do something else with your day. And that's about all for today. Let me know in the comments below whether you wear makeup or if you don't wear makeup and any thoughts you have on anything I said in this video. You can also click over there if you want to watch any of my latest videos and you can click down there to subscribe if you so wish. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!